Hi, this is Steve Gimperly, and today I'm going to talk to you about Magnet Outrider and some of the improvements that Magnet has made to the Outrider product. When you launch Outrider, what you're going to do is just click on either the Windows.bat or start Outrider from Mac OS, depending on the system that you're running on. In this case, I'm operating on a Windows system, so I'm just going to start Outrider for Windows. And once you launch Outrider, it's going to bring you to the setup page. Now, the setup page is going to look a little different than previous versions, so we're going to go through each of the different things that we can do within the setup page. First thing you can do is you can enter a case number. Put in any case number or wording you want. Secondly, you can select a scan template. Now, you can go in ahead of time and set up the type of scan you want to do on your USB, your remote removable device, so when you're on scene, you can just launch the particular template that you want to do. In this case, let's look at some of the templates and how to set this up. We're going to add a new template. Within here, you can select a default template name. And for this, I'm just going to name it default. And you have the ability to configure what kind of operating system you're going to be scanning. In this case, we know we're going to be doing Windows, so I'm going to check on Windows. You can also search using a keyword list. So you can match on the whole word. You can enter the specific keyword right here, or you can add a keyword list. In this case, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to a keywords list that I made. I'm going to click open. And you can see that it's already populated with a couple things that may be relevant to this particular case. As we scroll down, you can also search on regex keyword lists. I also created a regex keyword list based on credit card numbers. For example, if you're going out for a fraud case, you can enter the regex right here, or you can go for a flat text file and add in those regex expressions. Now, when you create that text file, remember one expression or one keyword per line. We have pre-checked locate apps of interest. Now, these are some of the apps that Magnet has seen relevant to cases. We also allow you to locate files of interest, and we will allow you to go through and scan the first tier file names within zip files. And then we'll also search priority paths, and that's primarily within Safari. If you have a NCMEC tip, you can add it in here. Right now, it's only for the NCMEC XML versions of those tips. As we scroll down, you can search browser history for URLs or keywords. On a live system, you can collect operating system artifacts. You can collect RAM from that machine. Now, just be mindful, if you collect RAM, it's going to take longer to do this initial scan. You can scan the drive for encryption. You can save screenshots of the desktop. And if you do this, you probably want to minimize Outrider before you capture that screenshot. You can also search for running processes, any connected network devices, which may be important if you think that your suspect may have hidden something within the household that's not directly connected to that computer, you can find those network devices. And then obtain IP address to give attribution to that machine and the IP address that it is running from. With your CSAM detection technology, after the scan, you can run Child Rescue Coalition detection, and that will, can scan across all file types. And with your reporting, you can save thumbnails of those CSAM hits. You also have the option down here in reporting to save a path list to the report folder. Now, this can get very big, but what this will do, it will delineate all the paths that exist within this computer. And sometimes this can get very large. And with that, we can save the template. Once you saved your template, you can search from the default template that we created or one of the other templates that has been previously created on my machine. In this case, we're just going to stay with our default. And then step three is to choose the location of the evidence. Now that we've set everything up, you can just click Start Scan to begin scanning the drive. You may also want to remember that there's the Manage button up here. Quickly looking at this, you can manage your templates. You can manage settings. Within Manage Settings, you can display those CSAM, CSAM thumbnail images. 
Within Manage Settings, you can display CSAM thumbnail images. You can display parse timestamps in UTC. You can send diagnostic information. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with any of the information you collect. This is only if you have crash data back to Magnet Forensics. Within Report Settings, you can also add a logo or a crest to the header of your report. And then you can save your reports to a following location, and you can change the location where you like to save your reports. Once you hit Start Scan, if encryption is detected, you're going to get a message that encryption has been found on the system. We give you a warning that if you choose to continue or shut down the computer that you may lose access to some of the data that's on the computer. In this case we're going to go ahead and continue. As the scan starts it's going to go through the system and you can see quickly we're starting to find hits. When the scan is complete because this is a small data set you're going to see critical hits highlighted over on the left hand side. When we click on critical hits, this is going to show you some of the things that were found within the scan. Now, this critical hits is just highlighting the items down below. But if there's something of interest that you find when you're going through this process, you can actually right click on an item, open source location, and it will take you right to that item on that drive. As we continue down, you're going to see some of the keywords hits that we had. Remember, we had put in some keywords, and Tor and Bitcoin were some of the ones that we put in. And we found some, air quotes, CSAM hits. These are images that obviously are not CSAM, but were coded in our sample to represent CSAM. But we did find hits. And with here, you've got the location of that hit. And again, you can open that source location and travel right to those images. As you scroll down, you can look at each individual item where a hit was found. Now, we will show you web browser activity. In this case, this is a removable drive, so there's no web browser history. We'll show you keyword hits, built-in keyword hits, and keyword hits that we input ourselves. And then regex keyword hits. We added in a regex expression for credit cards, but we didn't find any credit cards on this. So the keyword hits for that would be zero. We're showing CSAM detection. In here, we have two hits. And those, again, are the images that i just shown you. And we also have given you errors and warnings. This shows you any issues that you may have had while running Magnet Outrider. Now we can hit Open Report and you click on report html and this will bring up the report of the scan that we just ran you can scroll down and see some of the running processes you can see that we found cloud files dropbox some of those keyword hits and again that csam no errors or warnings and we also will list out all the scan settings that we used. Down below, we actually give you the keyword list that was used. So here are the keywords, as well as the regex list that was run against the evidence source. And there are some built-in lists of keywords, mostly dealing with CSAM issues. With that, thanks for listening. If you'd like a free trial or personal demo of Outrider, please reach out to us at magnetforensics.com slash product slash magnetoutrider. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.